Hey everybody, how y'all doing today? My name is Tay, and welcome back to my channel, Inspire Me, where I talk about current or relatable topics, all from a godly perspective. And today's topic is called Mental Illness slash Demonic Spirits. And now, uh, the reason why I want to talk about this, um, a few months, actually, probably like a year ago, I want to talk about this, but I never did. However, I thought about it again today, and I said, wait a minute, isn't it like Mental Illness Awareness Month or something? So I looked it up, and sure enough, this is the perfect time to talk about this. Now, I know some people say, Mental Illness, how is that a demonic um, spirit? How is that demons? They are actually demons, and I'm going to give you um, scriptures to back that up. Let me just read first exactly what mental illness means. Orders that affect your mood thinking, and behavior. Examples of mental illness include depression, anxiety disorders, schizophrenia, eating disorders, and addictive behaviors. Anxiety, for instance, um, if you don't know what anxiety means, that's pretty much um, when a person is worried or have fear. Now, doesn't God say in his word, as you cares upon him, he, he don't want you to be anxious. God has not given me the spirit of, have not given you the spirit of fear, but of love, peace, and a sound mind. Okay, also there, there's other scriptures in the Bible that talks about worrying the little sparrows in the uh, sky, you know, birds. I feed, I feed them. They don't work or nothing, but they still have something to pretty much lay their head or eat. Okay, so if I do it for them, how much more will I do for you? God don't want you to worry when you feel like you got to worry, you got to stress. Oh, I'm going to pay this bill. Oh, how this going to get done? This and that. That's of the enemy. The demonic spirit. All my go to scriptures are going to be from Matthew. But at Matthew 8 chapter verse 28. I'm not thinking about 29 too. Okay, but it says, when he had come to the other side. That's when Jesus came to the other side. To the country of Cinnamon, I think met him two demon possessed men coming out of the tombs exceedingly fierce and now when i looked at the word fierce another um definition like a synonym meaning dangerous or violent then i tell you a mental illness affects your mood and your behavior if a person is acting violent fierce isn't that a behavior disorder isn't it affecting their behavior when um, Jesus came and he cast the spirits out and he um put them pretty much put them into swine swine are um pigs and they drowned. Okay. Matthew the ninth chapter verse that was just thirty two. Just read thirty two. I might read thirty three too. Okay, it says as they went out, behold, they brought to him a man mute. Mute means they can't talk and demon possessed. All right, and it says. And when the demon was cast out, the mute spoke. So that puts me in the mind of, was it the unclean spirit that was causing him not to speak? Because the Bible didn't say um, God cast the spirit out of him, and then all of a sudden God healed him, and he was able to speak. It just says that he cast the spirit out of him, and then he, he spoke. So was it the spirit, the unclean spirit, that made him not speak? And we got to look at, too, I know in the past I was that person, like, I don't like to say mentally challenged people, but I like I feel like that's, like, even though that's a nicer term, but I don't like to use the word. I feel like it's still not as nice, so I like to use uh, mentally disabled. So whenever I see, like, in a mentally disabled person, I'm like, oh, like, feel sorry for them or something, who are mentally disabled, they act out, they do different things and say different things that other people don't do. And then isn't that a sign of a, a person who have demons? Don't they act out? Don't they do certain things? Don't with people who are mental um, disabled, don't some of them act violent and yell and scream? Okay, now the last one I'm going to use to reference is going to be Matthew 17 chapter, the first 14, I might read through 16. Um, bear with me, because like I said, I have double vision. Okay, and when... They had come to the multitude, a man came to him, kneeling down to him and saying, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is an epileptic. You know, ep epileptic is a person that has seizures. You know, when a person has seizures, they convulse for severely, for he often falls into the fire and often into the water. Now, if a person 
is having a seizure, they're unconscious. If you fall into fire in the water, in the water you could drown. In the fire, you could get burnt alive. Or, yeah, because they're unconscious, it's alive. Some people might say, okay, that doesn't mean that, okay, just because he had epileptic, just because he had a seizure, doesn't mean it's a demon. Where do you get that from? Okay, I'm going to tell you where I get that from. <laughs> Let me hear reading. So it says, so I brought him to your disciples, but they could not cure him. Then Jesus answered and said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I bear with you? Bring him here to me. And Jesus rebuked the demon, and it came out of him. And the child was cured from that very hour. That's how I know it's a demon. Because the word says it. that was a demon that was causing. Come on now. I'm not saying that everybody who has seizures, but if you read the context, if you causing this, this child to fall into the water and the fire, I say people that have mental illness, it's a demon. Okay, okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, yeah. But yeah, I found some more. Um, Perfect scriptures. Yeah, this is in the book of Mark. That's why um, each book, some of them, they have the same stories. But some of the stories are a little different in each book. That's going to be from Mark, the ninth chapter, verse, sorry, verse 17. And then one of the crowd answered and said, Teacher, I brought you my son who has a mute spirit. I told you, mute means you can't talk. And wherever it seizes him, it throws him down. He foams at the mouth, gnashes his teeth, and become rigid. Now, a person that can't speak, why would they be foaming at the mouth? A person that foams at the mouth, they usually have um rabies or something. A dog do that. And also it says, it sees him, and then I asked your, your disciples to do so. They couldn't do it. And then that's when Jesus said, O ye of little faith. So Jesus did it. And then it says, um... Immediately, the spirit convulsed him. I mentioned also, convulsed means when a person have a seizure, they're convulsing. That's what the spirit did. And he fell to the ground and wallowed, foaming at the mouth. And often, he had thrown him both into the fire and into the water to destroy him. That's when Jesus delivered him. I said a lot of people like to label it, oh, it's just mental illness. No, it's, it's demon. It's demons. But the cast and spirit is out. Um, the same chapter, verse, go down a little further. What's this, verse 25? Okay, when Jesus saw that the people came running together, he rebuked the unclean spirit, saying to it, Death and dumb spirit, I command you to come out of him and enter him no more. Then the spirit cried out, convulsed him greatly, and came out of him. Now, if you look at it, when a lot of times we hear people say, "Oh, this person," so I don't like to really say it because you know it's not a nice, nice word. Oh, this person's not smart. You know, a deaf me, a person can't hear. But that's the spirit. Who would have knew that? Even back then, I didn't know if a person couldn't hear. That's the spirit. That's the spirit that's causing people not to hear. That's the spirit that's causing people not to be sane in the mind. But a person say, oh, that's a crazy person. No, those are spirits that's attacking their mind. That when a person say those that's mental illness, what we really what we really need to call it is demons. And some people may not know that's what it's called. But if you're spiritual and if you read your Bible, You'll know what it is. Now, if you look at it, I know some people might say, okay, we know, okay, that demon means mental illness. Okay, how you get rid of it? Okay, the reason how you going to get rid of it, is if you was listening to what I was reading about, what all happened in every scenario that I said, Jesus casted it out. How, how Jesus cast it out? He was powerful. And some things come out through fasting and prayer. When Jesus was able to do it, his disciples asked him how you was able to do it, but we wasn't. And Jesus told him some things come out through fasting and prayer. So sometimes it's not just good enough just to read the Bible alone. Sometimes it's just not good enough just to pray. Well, I prayed, I prayed, I prayed. 
Okay, but what else did you do? Did you fast? Okay, you might have fast for one day. But did you fast for two days? Maybe God could be calling you. Did you fast for two days, for three days? Do a day fast. Do an Esther fast. It could be something else God calling you to do. It could be something God calling you to do to get rid of those unclean spirits. To get rid of that mental illness. I'd just like to say a quick prayer regarding that. Dear Heavenly Father, in Jesus' holy name, God, I lift up everybody who's, who's dealing with mental illness. First, Lord, let well let them know and also loved ones, friends, whomever, to know that that's an unclean spirit. And the only way to get rid of an un unclean spirit is if we, we, we got to be in your word. We got to pray. We, we got to fast. And it's not just to do it until we get, get cured and then go along and do do what we was previously doing because I was that person and believe me I know I used to call on God ask God God would you help me God would you help me so I said God and then time God delivered me I, I was nowhere to be seen regarding God so help those people not to be like that as well help them to turn to you even when things are good and when things are bad pray God you deliver them because so it is not nothing to play with it affects people's mind, how they think, what they do. Not only do they hurt themselves, they can hurt other people. And a lot of other, a lot of them have hurt other people. So I'm just praying for their mind in Jesus' holy name. You, you, you kill a head on a um, snake, the whole body dead. It's just like with the mind, with the brain. If the brain's not functioning right, you, your whole body not going to function right. So I'm praying for their mind. Just like the enemy try to attack the mind with mental illness. Well, I'm praying, God, you attack it with pureness. You attack it with, with strength. You attack it with casting out that spirit in Jesus' holy name. And help them not to go back into sin. Because, like you see, also in your word, when the unclean spirit, like, searching them, roaming all around, and he, he pretty much bored, he ain't got nowhere to go, so he going to go back to that previous person that that spirit was cast out of and he gonna bring back seven other demons and the person the state of that person is actually gonna be worse than the original state that was in once you deliver them help them not to take their um sanity their pureness their um freedom for granted but to stay in your word in jesus holy name i pray amen so that's all pretty much all I had to say today. Make sure you like, make sure you share, and also make sure you subscribe to my channel, y'all. Y'all listen.